Nothing scares my sister Kim. She's one of those fearless kids that make me sick. One day something happened to change even her too. creepy stuff around for the fun of it. Now, where do you want it? It's not creepy. It's just a mummy. You got a mummy? Cool. Look, I just I just want to get rid of it. Now, are you going to sign for it or what? I bet you it's from Dad all the way from Egypt. Of course it is, but there must be some mistake. I'm sure he intended it to be delivered directly to the museum. Hey, it's your mummy. <sighs> Very well. Better take it around back to the cellar door. George, she wants it around the back. All right. What is it? It appears to be a canopic jar. Mom, do we have to have these things in the house? I'm not crazy about the idea either, hun. It doesn't look much like an esophagus. Sarcophagus. But aren't they supposed to be all gold and have faces painted on them and stuff? Not all of them. It's still a coffin with a dead body inside. sense of humor. No, that's quite enough. I think your father would have included a note or at least called to say it was coming. It's too late to phone him in Egypt now. And I can't reach anyone at the museum until Monday. You mean it has to stay here? Awesome. Can Shauna sleep over? As long as the parents don't mind. Cool. I bet you never thought you'd get to sleep with a real mommy in the house. Yeah, that's for sure. According to this inscription, our friend's name is Amen Lukax, 12th son of Ramses II, ruler of the New Kingdom over 4,000 years ago. It looks like we have a royal house guest for the weekend. University club is on the refrigerator. I should be home no later than 10. Can we watch a video? Okay, but nothing scary. Yeah. Whatever you say, Mom. Have a great time. Be good. What's the matter, Jeffy? Don't like eyeballs on your pizza? As if you didn't know I hate olives when you ordered it. What do you think's in this jar? Gold, maybe? Probably his guts or something. For real? Could be. Dad told us all about it. The cutout, their heart, and liver and stuff. It's stored in little jars. Gross! What for? Some kind of ritual thing. The best part is the brain. They pick it out through their nose with this big hook <gasps> thing. Kim, stop. You're making me sick. You were really warped, you know that? <laughs> Works every time. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's mummy dust supposed to do? It's ground up bones of other mummies. It's the only thing that can stop it. Haven't you been watching? This is so times. What difference does it make? You're right, Jeff. He is? Since when? Since we've got a real mommy in the basement. Let's take a look at it. Come on. Kim! Kim, leave it alone! We're just gonna look at him. What's the big deal? What if there's a curse? I know all about curses. I got you for little brother, didn't I? Maybe he's right, Kim. Maybe we shouldn't disturb it. Hello? Anybody home? Shauna, he's been dead 4,000 years. I don't think we're gonna bother him now. Now help me with this. Oh, it's heavy. So scary. Kind of sad, really. Wow. Imagine. Four thousand years ago, this guy was walking around, hanging out by the pyramids with his friends. Do you think they put his cat in with him to keep him company? Just a few more minutes. Kim! Kim, he's alive! The mummy's alive! The mummy's alive! <laughs> Little goof left the door wide open. Kim, take a look at this. 
crazy or were his arms crossed before? Shauna, you're right. You are crazy. Now let's get this mommy here, formerly known as Prince, back to bed before mom gets home. And Jeff, I'm only going to say this once. No matter what your sister tells you, mummies do not come back to life, okay? Can't let her get you all worked up like this. But it seems so real. Listen, I got some work to do downstairs. Why don't you come and help me? Doesn't look like you're going back to sleep. Jeff, I hope Jeff doesn't tell her we looked at the mummy. He wouldn't dare. He was there too, remember? I had the all-time freak out, scare him with a century plan for him. Why do you hate him so much? I don't hate him. He's just a wimp, that's all. And wimps get what they ask for. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Kim, don't get so carried away. This is amazing. According to these hieroglyphics, this mummy became Pharaoh of all Egypt. What's so amazing about that? Because this mummy is the 12th son of Ramses II. Up until now, everyone thought it was the 11th son who became Pharaoh. If these hieroglyphics are correct, this could change the history books. Wow, that would make you and Dad famous, wouldn't it? Oh, my. What is it? According to this, this mummy killed his brother so that he could become the new Pharaoh. Jeez, and I thought Kim was me. Wait a minute. Are you telling me our mummy's a killer? Was a killer, Jeff. Was a killer. Some extraordinary discoveries. So have we. What? I can hardly hear you. Oh, we have a bad connection. I'll, I'll tell you later. Why did you send the mummy to the house? I was hoping you could start deciphering the hieroglyphics. Did everything arrive in time? As I can, but right now I need you to check out something for me on that sarcophagus. I found a remarkable reference on the wall of the tomb.
Mom. His last pack was a bug right out of his head. I don't want to hear about it. I want all of you back in bed by the time I count to three. One, two. So fake. Nice try. Get, get back well, here. looks fake. That's not Kim. Get, stay back. I call mummy dust. I still don't get why dad sent the mummy here. Didn't he know there was some kind of curse on it? Of course he did, but he thought it was just superstition. But I don't understand how the mummy came back to life. According to legend, he could only be revived if someone opened the sarcophagus and broke the sacred seal. At least one good thing came out of it. I'm never going to be afraid of anything again, so long as I live. Nothing can be scarier than that. That took a lot of guts, little brother. Yours and his. <laughs> oh, there's the neighbor's cat again. I wish they'd keep the poor thing inside. She's probably just hungry. Oh, Jeff, you shouldn't encourage her. Oh, Mom, she just wants a little. <laughs> 